Okay, so in this video, I want to do a quick review and unboxing of the Canakit Raspberry Pi 3 with 2.5 amp power supply. So this guy, you can typically get these, this kit off of Amazon for about $40 to $42 shipped. Um, doesn't come with a case, doesn't come with the HDMI, does not come with a memory card. In my opinion, this is the best bet. Canna kit, they also offer a lot of other versions, ones that come with memory cards, ones that come with HDMI, cases and whatnot. Um, depending on what your need is, you might not need a case, you might already have an HDMI lying around. Uh, the memory cards that they give you are not the greatest quality and usually they're pretty small in capacity. They're preloaded with the operating system and whatnot. And you're going to pay a premium for all that. I highly recommend just getting this base Canakit Pi setup that comes with the power supply, comes with the Raspberry Pi 3, and then it comes with the heat sinks. The reason I prefer this is because you could typically find the case if you need one for a little cheaper than what they're up charging you for. Um, and HDMI's you can find for a lot cheaper than what their up charge is. Uh, cases, everybody has their preference. The cases that these guys usually ship, even the other companies that, that offer kits that come with cases, to me they're not the best of quality. They get the job done, but there's a lot better cases out there. As far as cheap cases go, I prefer the official Raspberry Pi case, the one that's like a white and raspberry red color. That's my preference. It's still kind of a low-end case, but for the price, you can't go wrong. Um, and then also buying this kit, if you were to just buy the Pi 3 by itself, typically the best price I see on Amazon just for the Pi with nothing else is usually about $38 to $39. So with this, you're only paying a couple bucks more to get the power supply. Um, if you were to buy the power supply separate, they charge $10 for the power supply. Uh, I know there's other versions out there, but the quality that you get with these guys is really good. So to just open it up and show everybody what we're getting in here, which you know, pretty much have already stated, you get your 2.5 amp power supply. Pretty sturdy guy. And there she is, the cable, and let me see, have not measured the cable, but you are getting, it seems to be about four to five feet in length, so I think that's pretty good with, with this guy. And then also in this kit, you will be getting a quick start guide, which just has some stuff to go over uh, with updates and their warranty. There's some images in there that are gonna kind of blur here, but um, just explaining the Pi 3. Then they go over how to shut down, how to add Raspi and Jesse, um, open elect uh, Cody Media Center, and whatnot. So there's some good information in here if you're just starting out. Cool stuff. Me, I just throw them away. I don't need any of that. I typically only do retro pie builds. But then in here you're gonna get next your heat sinks, which is kind of cool. Not 100% necessary, but it's nice that they give them to you. And then inside you're gonna get your little safety guide and quick start guide. From Raspberry Pi and then they changed it it used to just be whenever I got these before uh, last year it used to be just the pie slipped in there now they come in a little baggy a little grocery bag and then there you go you get your your green screen pie that's see-through just kidding but um yeah you got the the two spots where you put your heat sink. Sorry about the green screen. It's not my fault the uh, board is green. But that's all right, it's beside the point. But the whole point of this is we all know what the Raspberry Pi is capable of. We know it's a quality board. Um, 
but the reason I wanted to bring up the Canna kit is because of price. Like I said, 40, 40 to maybe 41, 42 dollars shipped. You cannot go wrong. You cannot go, sorry about that. You cannot go wrong with this kit. You're saving money buying this versus buying a full kit. You know, unless you want the little memory card that comes with it, I think you can get, you know, this kit with the HDMI and like a 16 or 32 gigabyte card with a fairly crappy case, in my opinion, for about 70 to $80. For, for that price, I would rather pay that 40 bucks that we're paying extra to buy a 128 gigabyte card um, and then a, a few bucks more to get a decent case. A case that you prefer instead of the cheap ones that they provide but yeah that that was it just wanted to show you guys there is a link in my description to buy this particular kit it comes highly recommended I buy stacks of them at a time um, for all the projects that I do and, and whatnot and I, I can't recommend it any higher it's the best price you could find out there but thanks for watching I'll catch you guys next time